I made my fans duel to the death with each other and they had to choose their own weapons. What weapons will my fans choose and what weapon will prevail the most? Let's find out. Today's a very special video. For 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do my most popular video again, but I'm gonna make my fans fight to the death. I made a Google form where you could submit whatever weapon you wanted to duel with and you'll have to go against another fan. How this will work is if you win a round, you just keep moving on until you die. Let's see what fan can get the most rounds won. There is also a problem. I got 1,378 responses responses, so I will not be able to get through all of them, unfortunately, but I'll get through as many as I can. So anyways, let's look at fan number one submission. I'll go over the four questions, but after a while, I'm just gonna read them out to you because you'll understand it. So what weapon will you choose? Make sure it's detailed. They said nothing. I'm a bad boy. What's one thing you want everyone to know? I can't talk to women. What do you want your final words to be in case you die? Cuckoo clock. What would you like to be called? Bill Smill 22. Just spectacular. So the person going against Bill Smill 22 will have fists of steel as their weapons. Apparently means resizing a metal bar to fist size and attaching it to their hand. So that's interesting. The one thing they want everyone to know is to punch hard, live long. Their final words will be spare my life and I will grant you three wishes. Please don't kill me. They will be called cupcake. Interesting. Okay, as requested, I resized metal bars to be attached to their hands. They didn't want to hold it. They wanted to attach it to their hands. So there's that. Let's have the fight commence. Our first fight. Let's see who wins. All right. Bill Smill's going in tight. Don't know why I said that. It's actually really weird. He knows. Punches are being thrown. Lots of hits being thrown around right now. Nobody's looking like they're winning so far. Cupcake does have a metal bar attached to their hands, which is interesting. Wow, there are just so many hits being traded off right now. It's unbelievable. This fight's going on for an extremely long amount of time. Okay, a lot of broken bones, but no one's really dying yet. Bill Smill's on the ground right now. Doesn't appear to be getting up, so he does not have high ground advantage right now. Hits are being traded back and forth. This is really bloody. Like, look how much blood there just is. There's just blood everywhere. Dude, this fight's going on forever. Oh my god. Okay, we're on the ground currently. Oh, okay. Cupcake hits him with like an uppercut or something. And uh, Bill Smill dies. That is a win for Cupcake. And since Cupcake won, they will just keep fighting people until they die. <laughs> what weapon will you choose? Laser sword. I forgot its name. You know the thing Darth Vader uses. <laughs> the one thing they want everyone to know is to subscribe and I'm cool. They're called Billy the Great. I just think that one weapon's just significantly better than the other, but that's just me. Go! Oh, uh, oh my god, what is going on? Oh, all right, yeah, sure. I don't know what just happened. The next person has an ion cannon attached to their shoulder. They love maple syrup. Their final words are your mother. They will be called the scrongel, scr, scr, the scrongler. Okay, the scrongler has an ion cannon attached to his shoulders. I'm not sure what the point of this is supposed to be because he can't really like activate it, but uh, you know, I won't question it. Should I add a button or something? They didn't say to add it, so I, all they said was attach it to their shoulder, so it's attached to its shoulder. There we go. There you go, scrongler. Okay, good luck to both of you. Oh, okay. Well, Billy just annihilated the Scrongler in, like, a single second. Next up, this person chooses an AK-47. They want everyone to know they play COD. Their final words are, play COD, and they will be called <laughs> COD Fella. Okay, go. Oh, no. The lightsaber does not appear to be doing... Oh, no. Well, okay, let's remove the lightsaber from... Me. All right, just... Can you... Okay, Codfella kills Billy. And there's actually zero damage done to Codfella. Okay, next up, this person chooses a golden shovel, also called your mother. They will be called New Daddy. All right, New Daddy versus Codfella. Let's see who wins. Uh, it appears that Codfella is, uh, for some reason not shooting. Not sure what's going on with this. It appears that, uh, oh, he's just gonna die from the gun being so hot. The, he just died from the gun being so hot. That is an unbelievable death. Unbelievable. Next up, the weapon is a car that will be tied to my arm with a chain, preferably a tank. They will be called bees. Okay, I'm gonna have to interpret this in, like, my own way. I don't know how I'm supposed to attach a car to their arm with a chain. I don't- how am I supposed to do that? All right, this looks like a really fun one. All right, guys, you should fight. Guys, fight, come on. All right, I'm gonna- what if I just, like, all right, cod fella, what if I just kind of went like this? Oh, yep, you're shooting a bit high. You're shooting just a little bit high there, dude just a tiny bit. Okay, this is not going how I expected it to go. Just let it happen. There you go. 
This is very romantic. Oh, bees died. I don't know of what, but Codfilla did win. Next submission. Their weapon will be a 9mm pistol. The one thing they want, everyone knows, they like Gorebox. Their final words will be cheese, and they will be called Lost Wave Enjoyer. All right, the two guns duke it out. What did this do just, oh my god, what is going on right now? Okay, sorry about that. We're redoing the duel because there was some random dude that was here. Oh, all right. Well, that's cool. How did you get shot in the head with no damage done? Okay, Codfilla, you can stop shooting. You're shooting a bit high, dude. Uh-oh. Oh! oh! Shooting at the legs! Lost Wave enjoys his back up! He's, they're, he's just shooting him in the leg. They don't have much time left because they are bleeding out, like, quite fast. Oh, shot in the stomach. Oh, they're gonna be on the ground now, both at both at the height. Oh my god, headshot from Codfella. Okay, I'm gonna have to start speeding this up a little bit. The weapon they choose is a railgun. They will be called Heisenberg. Okay! After, like, five minutes of trying to make a railgun, this is the railgun. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I don't know what to do. Anyways, let's do this. I think everyone's dead. In this situation, everyone loses. So, that's yeah, a draw. Scratch, everyone's dead. Codfellow's reign is over. I'm not quite sure how many wins he had. I'll display it on screen, but he is the current leader. I'm gonna read this full submission now, because it's very interesting. What weapon do you choose? Consider using a sawed-off shotgun. This weapon offers power and precision at close range, and it's often an effective choice. This person will be called the Star Fury, or Furry. They can't decide. The next contestant will choose a long piece of rebarb or metal pipe. The reason behind it is because it's blunt and hard, yet good at deflecting. They want to be called this, which is a custom-made emoticon, so... Okay, piece of rebarb versus a shotgun. I'm not quite sure who's gonna win this one. Okay, what are you shooting at? The head's still alive! Oh my god! Uh, oh my god, the head's... Oh my god! What is going on right now? Uh, the Steel Fury wins, but I'm not quite sure what just happened. This next person uses a black sludge hammer that they use in carnivals. Also, if possible, make it have a French bulldog picture on it. What? Uh, they want everyone to know they love eating potatoes. Literally any potato dish. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. What do you want your final words to be? I've been kill. Remember me, please. They'll be called Burdog. Black sludge hammer versus shot off shotgun. Oh my god. Okay, you know, just don't shoot. Just die. I guess good job, bird dog. This person chooses a sawed-off shotgun again. They chew with their mouth open, and their final words will be cheeseburger. They'll be called a random person. Okay, shotgun versus carnival hammer part two. Stop! These guys keep spawning out of nowhere. Oh. Okay, well, this time the sludge hammer didn't most certainly not win. This person chooses a golf club. <laughs> They beat Harry Maguire in golf. Their final words are just, you know, that. They'll be called Paul Rudd. All right, here we go. Oh, oh yeah, just don't shoot. Just keep hitting him with the shotgun. Don't actually shoot. Don't don't use the shotgun. Just hit them with the shotgun. All right, whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, there you go. This person chooses a shotgun. <laughs> They're called USB. Who will be quicker to the draw? Let's figure out. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 USB was quicker to the draw. This person chooses an assault rifle. We're reading this one out entirely. They want everyone to know that Poulter is my god. Their final words will be, I, I love you, Poulter, and their name is hashtag Poulter Stan. Ah, I hope this person goes far. Open for Poulter Stan to win here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. This person chooses an AK-47 concealed by a chicken. What does that even mean? They want everyone to know that there is no gun. There is just a chicken. They are just assuring us that. It'll be called yuck, yuck. AK-47 concealed by a chicken. That is the most I could come up with is this setup right here. I don't know what the point of this is. Okay, here we go. Here's the... What happened to the chicken? Where is that chicken at? Oh my god, the chicken's gone. I don't know where the chicken's at. This is bad. What just happened? I what? Here's the chicken that was supposed to be here. This is this is sad. Okay, it looks like we need two new contestants. This person wants an axe in the left hand, and that's it. They will be called Heart Lion. Next response. Oh my God. Th did they pull this straight from Wikipedia? They got the little one-two thing that you. <laughs> they got a melee and a primary weapon. Dude, I'm not gonna switch your. They, they, oh my god. They have a melee, a primary, and a secondary weapon. This is ridiculous. I'm picking a random number between one through three, and that's the weapon they're gonna get. Okay, they got two, which is. Okay, it's their primary gun. The HK416F. Oh, uh, it's even got a sight on it. This is. Oh, anyways, you can read this if you want. I don't, I don't know. They want everyone to know that cheese is light. Their final words will be cheese, and they'll be called Mr. Cheesy. Okay, Heartline versus Mr. Cheesy. Let's see who wins. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, all right. Mr. Cheesy takes that. They, this person chooses a stone hatchet. They will, will be called Whiff Haver. I think they meant to put wife, but it's Whiff Haver. All right, 
Whiff Haver versus Mr. Cheesy. I'm not quite sure why Whiff Haver's backwards, but we'll not worry about it. All right, you gotta turn her around or don't. I don't know. He turned around the first time, but he uh, didn't turn back around, which is interesting. I can't believe we're only on submission 21. Okay, this person chooses an AK-47. They will be called Boat with a zero. Or is that capital O? I don't know. And they also put, please save me for my non-stop suffering brain. Is, do I, is this included in the name? These two people. Let's do. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, he took the... Oh. Oh, 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 shoot, you idiot. All right, or don't. Oh, all right. This person chooses someone's leg, preferably from a tall person, but they will do. They're called Branda Tron, Branda Tron, Branda Tronicus the Great. Okay, a tall person's leg versus a gun. I'm sure this will go very swell. Well, you know what? You know what? Well, you know, he lived longer than I thought he would. It's just kind of sad, but he's just, he's just gonna bleed out. Yeah, all right. Well, this person's weapon is Mushy Poulter's grandmother on the father's side. They will be called Colon 3. I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna go. He, I literally just strapped another person to this dude's arm, which is supposed to be my grandma on my father's side. You know what? Hold on. It's not fair that my grandma doesn't get hologram. There we go. Grandma Poulter's also a person. Our first three-way duel. This is very int- Oh, well, you know. This is very interesting. Well, my grandma's dead, unfortunately. Colon mm, three is not doing too good either. Oh, yeah, right. Well, this fan chooses an M4 carbine with a green dot optic and a flashlight and those little ball sack things you sometimes see in the black on the back of cards, not black. All right, here we go. Sorry, I could not find the ball. Whoa, what just happened? Why are you not using the gun? What? What's wrong with you? didn't even use the gun. He was using it as a melee weapon. This person chooses a wooden staff with a bone-eating syringe fixed to one end using a rigid cable. That's very interesting. They will be called Wazawa. Okay, bone-eating syringe taped to a stick and a gun. I don't know who's gonna win. Probably be really close. All right, well. Uh-oh. Okay, apparently it was close. Did he shoot, like, the gun? Did he shoot the syringe and it exploded and all of their bones just turned to dust? What just happened? So, I'm gonna be honest, I'm sorry. I'm only gonna be able to get through 27 submissions today out of the 1,400 I got submitted to me. But I am definitely gonna do a part two on this video if you guys wanna see it, so don't fret. This person wants a white katana as their weapon, and they are the milkman. This person chooses an AK-47 with an extended five. Ooh, that's a wickedly big number. Number, round mag. They're s called Sebzilla. Okay, final round. The Milkman versus Sebzilla. Let's do this. Sebzilla won. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like and comment your ideas. I will do your ideas. Anyways, hope you have a good day. Goodbye.